A shear line and a cold surge in place across the Philippines and really dominating the weather in the Western Pacific today. That's the big topic out there and how it's going to bring some rainfall. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta. Let's break down what we're seeing. And you know what? North of that cold surge, temperatures still staying relatively cooler here across northern Luzon. In fact, highs in places like Baguio, of course, higher elevation into the lower 20s, while it still stays moderately warm from Cebu out here towards the south. But we are still dealing dealing kind of with this line of instability right in there. You can see your little upper level load trying to spin up right there, and that's helping to kick up some scattered showers, mainly during the afternoon to evening hours across parts of Mindanao and southern Visayas. North of that, though, that cold surge still dominating for our friends from Okinawa towards Taiwan, creating some strong northerly winds and even some snowfall across parts of Japan. In fact, um, before I get into kind of more of the tropical update, interesting tidbit here on, on the bigger picture. You go back back and you can see out towards uh, Korea in the northern uh, portion of the picture they had their single day heaviest snowfall in just 24 hours in Seoul yeah plenty of it out there so yeah that's all all that cold air that is pushing towards the south though and that's why you mentioned it weather's all connected it's going to interact and create our little shear line setting up that slowly will drift towards south heading in the friday and saturday increasing showers across the east coast of southeast Luzon, including places like legaspi leite and samar even even towards manila as well as our high pressure ridge sets up and kind of pushes towards the south and east increasing that cold air for japan all the way down towards okinawa taiwan and into high non so cold surge interaction you get that shear line set up make sure you check out my video explaining what that is and then you still have the easterlies down here towards the south continuing uh, to dominate and be the main weather producer for the southern half of the philippines with that rainfall outlook let's take a look at that actually um, where we can see kind of the heaviest of that precipitation. I like this little thing here. Kind of shows you 50. Uh, it's actually upwards of 100 millimeters through Sunday into Monday into Legaspi. Let's even uh, scroll this back just a little bit. We could take a look around. So that's around Legaspi, upwards of 100 uh, millimeters. Even move this up to the Sierra Madre Mountains, 100 to 200 mountain or 100 to 200 uh, east coast of Mindoro. Still could see some pretty decent rainfall. A little bit less into Manila, but probably under about. 5 to 20 millimeters total precipitation and scattered showers pretty much across the entire island of Mindanao through the forecast. Just got the easterly still dominating. So uh, pretty quiet in the tropics. Easterlies are dominating. Cold surges in place and the long range outlook continues to look calm for our friends out here. That's the main points of the forecast out here today. East coast showers. Manila at least for tomorrow. 31 degrees here is for your high. Big thanks for everybody on Patreon. It continues to support this channel, guys. I can't thank you guys enough. Garmin, Colonel Sai, Jeff Davis, Jacqueline. I even got a section on Patreon for um, those who might want to uh, sponsor the channel. I'll give you a nice little shout out at the beginning of the update. It's a little bit higher tier, but if you want to check it out, maybe you got a business specifically how about into Cebu, Shargao, Manila, or something like that. Just um, give me a shout out or anywhere internationally. This is a big international national channel um yeah that's all for today though if you have any questions though please as always let me know and of course thanks for watching number one thing is stay safe out there friends bye